Santa Claus is another uh, good example of a pagan element of, of Christmas. Santa Claus, as we know him today, is a, uh, an amalgamation of several different traditions. But uh, in most cultures throughout the world, uh, you will find the existence of what is known as hearth gods. Uh, gods who uh, guard uh, the hearth and the chimney and keep the fires burning and make sure the food cooks properly and the people are warm and what have you. And at a certain time of year, uh, in the middle of winter, typically, uh, the hearth god dressed in red will come down the chimney to reward those who uh, have pleased him during the course of the previous year and to uh, lay uh, curses or hexes or other forms of uh, uh, punishment upon uh, people who have displeased him. The concept of Santa Claus has had a long and winding history with a number of diverse cultures contributing to the composite character we have today. Beginning once again in Scandinavia, Santa's original incarnation was in the form of Odin, the pagan god of thunder a tall fellow with a long flowing beard who inhabited the spirit-infested Nordic forests. Odin would travel the sky during the winter solstice deciding who would die and who would prosper. Most believers were frightened of this particular time of year. In England, Odin eventually evolved into Father Christmas, who, crowned with sprigs of holly, traveled the countryside getting roaring drunk as part of the Festival of Fools celebration. Frequently, he would be accompanied by a horned goat, ironically the biblical symbol of those who reject the salvation of Jesus Christ. According to the traditions of the Church of Rome, there was a Turkish bishop named Nicholas who hailed from Myra in Asia Minor during the 4th century. He was known as the patron saint of seafaring men. Over the centuries, as the legend began to unfold, it was rumored that St. Nicholas had actually captured the devil himself, put him in chains, and made him his personal servant. Recognized in various cultures as Krampus, Beelzebub, or Zwart Piet, Black Peter, this assistant of St. Nicholas is best known by his German name, Necht Ruprecht. Described as a hideous horned creature, the servant Ruprecht was a dark and sinister figure who stood in stark contrast to the saintly Nicholas. Somehow, Father Christmas's companion, the horned goat, had metamorphosized into the foreboding horned devil called Ruprecht. As St. Nicholas traveled from house to house, inquiring about the behavior of children, Ruprecht would drop candy and gifts down the chimney into the good children's shoes which had been placed there. It was from this story that we get our tradition of hanging stockings on the mantle at Christmas time. If able to recite a verse or demonstrate a skill for St. Nicholas, the child would receive a gift. If unable to remember a verse or if the child had been bad, he or she would receive a switch or a whip. Ruprecht also carried a large sack which he would frequently use to haul away the really bad boys and girls. <laughs>